Let's look at the tail command in Linux. Tail helps us to watch the last few bytes of a file as content gets appended to the file. Tail helps us to watch application logs. On the top left terminal, we have a for loop and we go through a sequence of numbers 1 to 1000. And for each number, we are appending that number to a file called loop1.log and we are sending that terminal to sleep for two seconds. So we will end up with a file loop1.log that gets updated every two seconds with a number. So let's run that. We have the file. Let's uh, tail it using the command. We can see that it shows us uh, the last few parts of the file uh, at that point in time. Uh, if we keep on running this command over and over again, it's going to show us a fixed window or fixed set of bytes of the file uh, towards the end of the file. And that window changes. Now it is showing uh, from a point starting at 4. Now it is starting at 7. Now let's say that we want to watch this file or tail this file continuously. We use the dash F option. And tail is going to show us the changes to this file uh, as the content gets written. Now that's uh, following the file. Uh, let's say that we want to follow this file or tail this file starting from line number 10. We specify that with the dash n option followed by plus and the line number. So if we were to do this, we can see that tail is starting at line number 10 and then continuously tailing that file. So this is useful when uh, we know that we have to start watching a file only after a particular event. Uh, we can find which line number, let's say using the grep command, and then start tailing the log file from uh, that point on. So that's tailing on a single file. Uh, let's do the same on the uh, other terminal where we are looping through numbers from 1000 to 2000, and we are adding those numbers every two seconds to a file called loop2.log. If we were to do this, we have the other log file, uh, let's tail both of these files using the tail command. We can see that uh, tail uh, watches both these files for changes uh, and we get notified of the changes uh, with the names of the files uh, attached to them. So which file changed and what is the content? Uh, what is the new content for each file uh, with a header? Now if we do not want to see the header, uh, we can specify that with the uh, dash Q option. With the dash Q option, tail is going to show us the new content for all the files, uh, but it will not mark uh, which content is from which file. So that's uh, the tail command for watching application logs.